up guys, welcome to the channel, welcome to reviews on anything. My name is Peter and in this video we are doing a comparison. Right here I have the Comfort Click Leather Belt, as seen on television, which is a micro ratcheting track system for easy adjustments in quarter inches. Now that sounds really familiar, because if you follow this channel, uh, you know that we've been looking at belts from Core Essentials in the past. Now these belts have a lot of things in common. Uh, but they are also quite different in many ways. So in this video we're going to put them side by side and see which one is best and which one you should get for the money. Alright, we got the two belts here side by side in their original packaging. So right from the get go we have quite the difference already. The core belt here on the side is very much an understated kind of packaging. Uh, just a simple cardboard box as you can see with a core logo and a bag inside with the belt in there. The Comfort Click belt though is much more of a display, a point of sale packaging, obviously uh, you can tell with the hook here it's meant to hang in some kind of display. Um, I do like that you can actually see the buckle that you're getting and here on the side you can actually see and feel the product that you're getting. So that lends itself much more for a retail situation. What you cannot see in this packaging is of course the price. Uh, these belts have quite a price point difference. The Comfort Click belt comes in around 20 bucks, uh, the Core belt around 50 bucks. So uh, there's quite a price difference, um, hopefully we'll see that price being translated into a quality difference later as well. Uh, but yeah, for the money you can get two of these for one of those. Opening the Comfort Click belt up, you get the belt itself in a lot of extra plastic and you get the wrapper with all the instructions here on the back. The plastic obviously is a bit of a thing, but you know, that is what it is. Opening that up even further, throw that away, you throw this away. And you are presented with the belt and the loose buckle here. Opening up the core belt is much easier. Uh, once you take this out of the box, you are also presented with a little flyer with all the instructions that you need. So that looks kind of classy in dark black. Uh, but opening the bag up, you are presented with the belt, also wrapped in plastic. And inside you also have the buckle that you chose. Now I do say chose on purpose because obviously Core, if you've seen our other videos, offers a wide variety of buckles. Uh, I think it's about 14 or 16 buckles that they have depending on the kind of style that you want, the kind of uh, material that you want and the kind of look that you're going for. Uh, so there's a lot to choose from. Uh, for the Comfort Click belt you're stuck with one style of buckle. Now once you take the belts out of the packaging and put them on the table, uh, there's quite a problem with the Comfort Click belt from the get go. Uh, that is, you know, because it's shaped in the packaging in such a way that it fits, you end up with this weird bump in your belt. And obviously it's been in the packaging for quite a while, so, you know, it's not something that you easily just, you know, unbend. Uh, this is something you really have to work in order to get it out. And you can already see that it's, you know, by doing that, it's starting to wear and show some strain on the leather right away. Which is, you know, I'd say quite a design flaw. I mean, why would you design your packaging in such a way that you end up with this? Uh, not nice at all. No such issues on the right side here with the core belt. It's just rolled up as it was in the packaging and it stays rolled up just like this by itself. Now as you can see I've put the buckle on the Comfort Click belt and the same problem occurs again. This is the shape in which the belt naturally curls when you put it on the table. Uh, which again is a testament on how bad the, the design of the packaging is. This is just not good for your belt. The core belt, again, as you can see, it just you know, stays in a natural round shape and it doesn't have all these weird H-shaped bends in it. And even again, the bump that we saw earlier is still very much present here. So big, big down points there. But let's move on from the shape of the belt and let's move on to what really matters and what makes these belts uh, in theory so similar. And that is the click system here in the back. Uh, both belts have a click system where you can adjust the size of the belt a bit more precise than you would with traditional belt holes and a, buck and a normal buckle. Uh, so, you know, you cut it to your desired size, the, the same for both belts, uh, and you make sure that your desired size sort of fits somewhere in the middle so you can adjust it uh, during the day or, you know, if you lose or gain weight, uh, you can make it a bit tighter or a bit looser any way you prefer. Uh, so the benefits obviously that you have a lot more flexibility and a lot more fine tuning when it comes to uh, getting your exact fit that you're looking for. Uh, which is handy because you obviously uh, fluctuate in waist size throughout the day, uh, but also uh, some pants are thicker than others. If you want to wear with dress pants or jeans, for example, it's a whole different story. Uh, so it just gives you a lot more flexibility. It's the same story with the core belt. 
The way they go about their business is very different though. Uh, this is a seven and a half inch track uh, that has 32 positions, which is nice. Uh, but the core belt here is a 10 inch track with 42 positions. So you can actually make a lot more adjustments with the core belt. Now the buckles have a very different way of working as well. As you can see here with the comfort click belt, it's a very open design and the whole top part of the buckle has to move in order to sort of uh, operate the release mechanism down here. That is a bit of an issue because when you try to put it in there, you have to first sort of loop it around to make sure that it goes all the way through. It's a bit annoying, but then where you, when you go, you can hear it click. And then the belt is in place. I have to say it feels a bit clumsy in a way because obviously you have to sort of thread the belt all the way through and this happens quite often that you just go to the complete wrong side of the buckle. Uh, that also again has to do with the shape of the belt and actually the stiffness of the belt as well. Once you do get it through, you can just pull it to the right size. I like the clicking sound actually, uh, but it doesn't feel too strong. So you can see it can just pull it and it opens all the way. So if you put a bit too much pressure on it, maybe when you're squatting down, uh, the whole buckle can just pop open. Putting this one to the side, looking at the core belt, I'll show you the same scenario. Uh, putting it in, this is an open style uh, buckle as well, as you can see. It's much easier, because there's only one way for the uh, belt to go inside the buckle. Solid click motion, and you actually have a little lever here on the side that you can pull to move the buckle off the belt again. So actually quite easy, uh, much easier I think than a whole uh, system where you have to pull the entire front of the buckle up and actually putting the belt in is much easier as well. Now that has to do with this buckle itself, uh, but it also has a lot to do with the belt itself because uh, this feels like a lot more thicker leather and it's also actually a bit broader, so it makes it a bit easier to operate. Now let's do the pulling test here too. This doesn't slip at all. I'm pretty sure I can hang on this uh, without this slipping. Uh, it's just much more secure, uh, which is again, I suppose, a testament to the quality of the buckle and to the belt as well. Unfortunately, uh, this video does not have smell-o-vision enabled, uh, but these belts smell very different. Uh, the core belt is full grain leather, so that's uh, the highest quality leather you can get. The Comfort Click belt is bonded leather, so that's a combination of uh, artificial fibers, a little bit of leather, uh, some plastic going on. Uh, it's just a very different kind of smell that you get from this belt. And besides the smell, you can also tell that it's a different material in the way the belts behave. Obviously we uh, talked before about the shape that the belts uh, lay in due to the packaging. Uh, you can also feel it when you handle this that it just feels you know, much uh, thinner and a bit more fragile, it's not the right word, but a bit more pliable than the core belt. It just feels more solid, it feels thicker, uh, and you get a higher sense of quality. Which is not, uh, you know, completely surprising because this belt is twice as expensive as this one. Uh, but still, for the money, you uh, do expect a product that will hold up, and I think this will wear a lot quicker on your pants than this. Alright, after wearing both the Comfort Click Belt and the Core Belt for a while, what kind of conclusion can we reach? I think a lot can be said from where you can get these belts. You can pick this up at Walmart for about 20 bucks. Uh, the core belt, you actually have to go through core and it will cost you about 50 bucks. That really says it all. Um, you know, this is something you just pick up where you're like, oh yeah, I need a belt. Uh, yeah, this looks great. Let's get it. Uh, this is something that you put a bit more thoughts into. Uh, and it shows in the way the product feels, the way the product smells, the way the product operates, and also the quality of the product overall. Obviously, you can't blame the Comfort Click belt for being an inferior product because it is uh, less than half the price of the core belt. Uh, but I think there is quite a few problems with this belt. Uh, first of all, the packaging like I showed you. Uh, then there's the slipping of the buckle when you put it on, under any pressure. And just the overall feel of the belt, it feels like a cheaper product. The core belt, on the other hand, just oozes with the confidence of a product that is more expensive but also knows that it's a lot higher quality. Uh, this is a belt that you put some thoughts in, like I said, you pick your style, you pick your colors, you pick your buckle style, um, and you ha just have a bit more experience with this product even before you purchase it. Once you have it though, as soon as you take it out of the box, it smells better, it feels better, it feels thicker, it feels more solid, and the way it operates is also a lot more smooth and confidence inspiring. 
For twice the price, obviously that is something you should expect from it, uh, but this is a product and a brand that delivers over and over with quality and style to boot. Now these two products offer a very different value proposition even though they offer something similar on paper. This is really something uh, that you pick up without thinking about it and this is something that will cost you more, it will also cost you more time to decide which one you get, but I think it's also a product that will last a lot longer and actually will give you a lot more enjoyment using this on a daily basis. Therefore they might be similar on paper but this is clearly the superior product. Even at twice the price I think this is clearly the way to go. This is Peter from Reviews on anything with a look at two belts that are similar on paper but very different in real life. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to the channel, that always helps us out a lot. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers!